Looks like Halo Infinite fans will be able to enjoy some Halo content before Halo Infinite releases, some new Halo themed PC gear, Xbox being suspiciously quiet as well as big controversy rises up again within the Halo community. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So today's video we have a bit of a conglomerate when it comes to news within the Halo community. Some game related stuff, some community related stuff, and some cool products you can pick up on the way if you're looking to upgrade your PC gear. And then we dive into some controversy that just recently hit the Halo community and has a lot of people talking. Even the community director sketch had to reply on this. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, please make sure you tap that like button as it really does help out the video and channel guys help us get a better place within the algorithm. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, Make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So this first bit of news I'm gonna jump in with you guys is some information that you can play some Halo content before Halo Infinite releases. And the way you do that is by playing through Forza Horizon 5. Previously within Forza Horizon 3, we've had some Halo vehicles that we could play around with. Well, it looks like we'll be having that again. In a recent development update confirming the car list within Forza Horizon 5, us Halo fans found something rather interesting. That within the list, the M12S Warhog CST was spotted within this confirmed car list. So what kind of Warthog is this? Well, I did a little research and that is the Transport Warthog. So no turrets, sadly, within Forza Horizon 5, but this will give us a chance to play around with some Halo Infinite related content before the release of the game. And the Warhog being in some of the previous Forza games, you get a chance to drive around and experience the Hog for yourself. And again, this game is going to be part of Game Pass as well day one. So if you aim your Game Pass Xbox users out there, you do have a chance to play around with the Warhog within this game. So you know I'm definitely going to have to jump into it as well because I've been kind of getting a little bit of an itch to play some racing games. And Forza Horizon 5 looks to be a pretty awesome experience as well. And you'll get a chance to play this as almost exactly Exactly a month before Halo Infinite releases as Forza Horizon 5 is set to release on November 9th. So get yourself excited and ready for that launch. And of course, you know, Duke Kane would be one who'd be really excited about this update, saying that he won't be able to make racetracks on Forge for Halo Infinite at launch, but at least he can make Halo tracks and with events in labs with Forza Horizon 5. Does Duke Kane likes to play his first person shooters as a racing game? Ooh, was that a little bit of a jab? That might have been a little bit of a jab there. Oh geez. And now into our second story of the day, Razer has brought us some new Halo gear to have jump on and play with as well. Stating here, gear up for battle with our exclusive line of Halo inspired gear, forged for PC and Xbox. This Halo Infinite arsenal is all you'll need in your fight against the Banished. Sign up to get notified when pre-orders start. And the link right there and not gonna lie this looks pretty sick like the mouse i really like the mouse pad specifically the keyboard looks a little bit too master chief for me but the headset looks kind of like subtly but great kind of halo inspired as well though to keep in line with the promotions it looks like we have some coatings possibly coming along with this as well kind of razor themed coatings that you can have within halo infinite as well Obviously, pretty exciting stuff. I and mean, that mouse pad looks pretty slick, not gonna lie. If I can just get just the mouse pad, I'd be pretty excited about that. Looks like we also have a Razer emblem you can put on your Spartan as well within the game, as well as a Razer coating, which honestly looks kind of slick as well. I love how these coatings that were like part of promotions with Halo Infinite have the color scheme that you would expect from the brand itself, but it doesn't like tattoo the brand right across the whole thing. Very similar that we have with like the Monster Energy Drink promotions as well for those coatings where it's just kind of black and green so it'll give you the colors of monster energy without having like monster written across the entirety of the battle rifle you know what i mean so really glad how it's like tastefully done our next story here goes into what colt eastwood has said about xbox which xbox has been notably quiet in the last few days or so and it sounds like something big is going to drop as the insider colt eastwood tweets this out saying xbox has been quiet that's about to change, stand by, hashtag Xbox, but then also showcases the Master Chief on top of like an Xbox. Obviously this is kind of like a, kind of a fan creation, kind of Photoshop job that you put together here. Though if Colt Eastwood is tweeting out something like this, most likely involving Halo in some capacity, we could be getting some more Halo news, or it could just be some standard Xbox news, which the current rumor that's going around is saying that the upgrading the Xbox Series X and S models rumored to be for 2024, or 2023 is that it would have 8k support for those xbox consoles which obviously could certainly be the case but you know a boy can dream that we can get some more halo infinite news 
Uh, as we do know right now, though, that the studio is currently on like lockdown kind of situation where they're just trying to iron out as many bugs as possible before the launch of the game to have a, a smooth launch. So is it going to be any kind of gameplay features or some kind of new kind of thing to showcase of the game or community? Maybe not, though, if it's going to be anything, it'll probably just be like a blog update or some more information about the campaign, maybe some screenshots or something. Again, I'll keep an eye on the news here for you guys. So if anything big drops, you guarantee I'll let you know on this channel. And our last bit of news here, guys, some big controversy has hit Halo once again within the community. Got each other arguing. So it's been zero days since our last nonsense when it comes to the Halo community as a whole and this is more pertaining to the competitive side of things with the top 25 HCS countdown that 343 is currently holding if you guys do not know what I'm talking about here basically 343 it's specifically the HCS team is throwing together a top 25 list of all-time best Halo players with such judges like Bravo, Elamite, Golden Boy, Clutch, Walshy, Goofy, McWen, Gaskin, and Hines who are all just people who've been part of the competitive Halo community for a very long time so these guys are very knowledgeable about who are the best Halo players who have ever played the game and so for the initial list of the top 25 players who have ever played Halo has been rather well received for the most part. We have like Ryan Noob saying, Fear Itself, Mick Win, Victory X, Legit, Karma, and Strong Side. People have been like, yeah, that sounds about right. But the recent addition to T Squared here has been causing some controversy. Because T Squared has been put at number 17 for the one of the greatest Halo players of all time. And yeah, it has seemed to be causing a bit of controversy, even to the point where the community director, Sketch, had to jump in and talk about this. So why has this been a bit of controversy? Like, who really cares? Well, you know, it's obviously you're talking about the greatest Halo players of all time, and T-Squared, Tom Taylor, was one of the guys that kind of helped bring MLG and competitive Halo beyond the bedroom out of these tournaments into something larger than just the game itself. I mean, our guy here was even on Dr. Pepper bottles. I remember I had one of these Dr. Pepper bottles back in the day because I was like, this is so cool to see like pro Halo players on like a soda drink, which back then was a huge deal, which nowadays might not be so crazy to think about. But think about this, this is back before like 2010 where like competitive gaming was just getting started and to see like Dr. Pepper get involved putting these pro players on their bottles to promote their brand is just so crazy back then. Nowadays, pro players have like a million different kinds of sponsors like with food, drinks, equipment and gear and things like that, So which has become very standard. But Tom Taylor, he squared, was one of the guys that kind of helped push that forward. And some of the members of the community did not find this ranking of T squared to be well, well received to say. Ogre 2 is one of the greatest players of all time. You'll probably see him as either like one or two up there saying it should be several spots higher IMO. Maybe one of the judges left him off their list entirely. One of the greats and a legend of the Halo series over three titles. Second best Tom on the scene. Obviously referring to himself because his name is Tom and he's Ogre 2. Most likely going to be ranked number one as the greatest play Halo player of all time. T Square himself even replied this saying April Fools was months ago. Ghosta Yami, who was a major Halo pro back in the day, said one of the first players to actually stop the final boss streak. But you guys remember final boss was one of the most dominant teams to ever be created within Halo. Saint T-Square just had the raw ability to take over a game. Can't tell you how many times I died trying to use the T2 rockets and snipe combo, but he made it look easy. Commentator Wonderboy, so you guy, he knows a lot about Halo, even pro pro provided that awesome meme here, saying anyways, he won- wait a minute. I'm not doing this right. Hang on, let me just do this properly here. Anyways, he's on millions of Dr. Pepper bottles worldwide. Won plenty of events across the first three Halo games. He transcended the game, really, and they only put him 17. Can you believe that? There's been so much controversy, even Sketch had to jump in on this saying, I love all the HCS conversations in my feed. Let the top 25 roll on. No list would be without controversy. For the record, I'm not a judge. You're all number one in my book. The Big Daddy Sketch coming in going, come on guys, let's take a chill. We're just having some fun here, basically. Though I would agree that 17 for T-squared is a bit low. But this ranking list has been created by people who are very much part of the HCS community, have been there for over a decade now at this point. So I, I believe that their rankings are accurate and this is probably where they would put them. Because these guys clearly know more than I do. I mean, I've been following the scene since 2009. I have a rough idea about how good these players really are, but you know, these guys have been in the community for so long that I trust their ranking. 17 does seem a bit low for T2, but yeah, we'll see what happens. 
in the later updates. If you guys are new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got all my Halo news videos right there for you guys to check out. We upload daily as well. But thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.